Life always a journey, man. You need it. You need to travel. Bounce back. I'm on my bounce back. They thought they knocked me down. off like in you know what I'm saying in church or whatever and uh me and my guys we all had a passion for this for the music stuff man and we created a gospel rap group called Next Level. I got a shout out to my, my uncle my uncle Willie uh he started me off like in the choir and everything man and he could sing I mean blow and uh it started from there and just start listening to the old school jams that my moms them used to play back in the day. Al Green, you know what I'm saying? Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, you know what I mean? Like legends in the game that inspired the music just just was in us, you know what I mean? I love to to create just magic, you know what I mean? And and just to hear the outcome of it and to hear or to see people enjoy enjoy the music that you know what I'm saying I create y'all oh, it's a beautiful thing you know what I mean especially my shorties man like they talented and uh just to hear them you know what I'm saying sing and rap and, and, and all that man it, it pushed me even more to just create you know what I mean like they go, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they sitting right here with me. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my family, Mafia, like, I just, they they crazy, man. Like, Ripster, AC, Emil, Nemo, Steve T. For the most part, man, like, I'm a cool guy. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody, anybody can tell you that I'm down to earth and, you know what I'm saying? I, I try my best to stay the same and, and be cool with, with everybody, you know what I mean? And, and try to keep the peace sometimes. But, you know, I feel like right is right and wrong is wrong, so it, it's normal. I mean, everybody has that. Hey, make sure you watch him. Make sure you watch him. My greatest downfalls, man, was losing my family. My wife, because of foolish mistake that I did or whatever man and uh that hit me hard. I ain't over it and I'll buy a long shot but I'm maintaining the uh situation man and uh I was down for about like a good two years because of that because of my foolish mistakes. Be faithful man try your best to be faithful no matter what you know it gets it gets better if, if if you feel that you can't handle that situation then just go on ahead and call it quits before you do something that will drastically just mess up a whole lot of stuff man and it's not it's it's not fun it don't feel good at all real talk i'm still standing you know what i'm saying i still gotta stand for my kids for her as well little as she know you know what i mean would I do it differently? Me personally, it just just being normal, or what a normal person would say, yeah, I would do it differently. But to be honest with you, nah, nah. If I wouldn't have went through it, I'd probably still be in the same position that I was in three, four years ago that was jacked up probably. You know what I mean? So everybody gotta go through something, man. Regret all that. Hit that. Whack, almost cursed. <laughs> it made me appreciate it. It made me, it made me stronger, man. It made me love my kids more, my family, my mafia family even the more. You know what I'm saying, Hecker. It just, it just uh, got me pushing. I was like, yo, I'm up, man. I'm running. I'm running towards the sun, man. Because uh, if it weren't for him, man. Uh, I don't think, I don't think I'll be doing this right now. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he kept me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I got it. 
throw all shots out to him, most definitely. That, that, that like, he opened my eyes to a lot of things. He's still showing me things. And then, through the midst of whatever he brought, he took me through and bringing me through, uh, he was still, he still there, still there with me. Some people feel like uh, if they made a mistake, God ain't with them and, and God don't love them and all nah, that, nah. And so I, I, it's a must that I always keep him with me, around me, however you want to say it. I'm forever, ever grateful and thankful the way life is and I, I know it's a journey, man, because Look at me now. My journey is, is still going on, you know what I'm saying? I'm still hiking it, you know? And the, that mountain is kind of high. I'm afraid of heights a little bit, you know what I mean? And I want to keep hiking, because I, I get to learn more. And you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and keeping my head open to a lot of things. So I don't want my journey to never end, you know what I'm saying? But I know it's gonna come to an end, but the journey, I love, I love my journey and I, I love my people's journey, you know what I'm saying? So, the title of the book will be He Wrote My Story. He wrote everything about me. My, what we've just, what we've been talking about, so I'm talking about God, for people that don't know, so, so that's the reason why. And what would be the last chapter of that story? What would it be titled? What would it be titled? Title, Mafia Hecker for Life. What would the last sentence read right before you get to the end? <laughs> it's not over yet. My son just came over with that, so. Uh, together. You know what I'm saying? I told you. It's me. This is my life. 